Well, here we are just days away from celebrating our great country's independence and in true 4th of July style, many families are making plans to take in a spectacular fireworks show on Thursday. And one of those shows is Red, White and Boom, and it just so happens to be one of the largest fireworks displays here on Delmarva. And joining us today to tell us more is event chairman Mike Dunn. Welcome, Mike. Good afternoon. Thanks Good for having me. Yeah, so this is the second year for the event. Yeah, last year, you know, when I, you guys were kind enough to have us here last year, we thought we knew what we were doing, and let's go bring fireworks back to the community of Salisbury. As it turns out, we did know what we were doing, and just as importantly, the community was ready to embrace it. And last year, it was just such an overwhelming success. I told a few folks afterward, the only reason I didn't say it was perfect is because perfection doesn't exist. But it was just shy of that. <laughs> great sure weather, is. spectacular show, great crowds, everything went so well. So one of the biggest shows on Del Marva, maybe with the exception of the beaches. Sure. What goes into putting something like this on? Well, the first thing is, you know, you need partners. And Salisbury University is our partner. They are our host site. Um, the city of Salisbury, Mayor Jim Ireton, you guys were just talking about political folks <laughs> and political <laughs> careers. You know, when I called him about a year and a half ago, they couldn't give any money, but he right then and there said, we will give you all the resources that we need from fire and police and public works. Just yesterday, we had our, you know, pre-briefing with the police agencies and the fire agencies. So it's it's just a nice cooperative event. Uh, Sheriff Mike Lewis, the Wicomico Sheriff's Department, the Maryland State Police, the Salisbury University Police Department. It's, it's just a collaborative and, event. And you mentioned it does take money to put this on. $20,000 yeah. worth of yeah. fireworks, yet it's a free event. That's How do you right. do that? Well, I do that by writing <laughs> letters, and I get my Christmas card list out, and I go around Salisbury to my friends, contacts, and business associates, and in two years, we've been able to raise more than $43,000. So it's the wow. old-fashioned way. I go and I hand you a letter and say, will you make a donation to Red, White, and Boom, and the community and the business community has just responded in a wonderful way. That's true. Well, of course, there's fireworks, but there's a whole lot more to Red, White, and Boom, isn't there? Yeah, well, we, we created something called Americana Avenue, and it's right there between the SU baseball fields and the SU football field. That's actually Wayne Street. But if you come down there starting at 630, it is home. It is community. It's everything you can think about for the 4th of July. We've got kids activity, lots of food, um, <laughs> lots of snow cones and ice cream and hot dogs. You're about to have a hot dog vendor right, on. Right. It's just a great place for kids and families. And, and you know, I, Salisbury went, what, six years without yeah. fireworks, but hopefully that'll never happen again. Yeah, that's my plan. Um, we've got plans for this. I grew up as a kid in Salisbury, and it was a tradition, and we need to bring it back. And so we're, we're here now. The community has embraced it. And the great thing about Red, White, and Boom is these fireworks are right on top of you there, 600 feet in the air. Wow. Oh my goodness. And if you come and park your lawn chair or your blanket on the SU athletic fields, you are going to be right it's on top of them. It's going to be a good yeah. show. All right, well, here's what you have to look forward to. Red, White, and Boom, Salisbury University. It's, of course, going to be the 4th of July on Wayne Street. Begins at 6.30 in the evening. Fireworks at dark, which is about 9.15. Ish. Ish. <laughs> so be sure to come on out. Mike, thank you so much for Jimmy, joining thank us. you very That's much. We appreciate show. it. Thank you. Thanks. And of course, Red, White, and Boom is on the Maryland side. On the Delaware side, Dewey Beach will try to make it into the history books this July 4th. Businessman Alex Pires and John Snow are trying to set a Guinness World Record for the most fireworks set off in a 10-minute period. So Thursday's show is expected to include lasers from behind the fireworks. Organizers say it'll be visually stunning like a 10-minute grand <laughs> finale. They've already been in touch with the people from Guinness World Records to let them know they need to show up. And if you want to go, here are the event details. The fireworks in Dewey take place Thursday, July 4th. They'll go off above the bay side of Dewey Beach shortly after 9 p.m. And of course, these are just a couple of the fireworks shows taking place across Delmarva. If you would like a list of other local July 4th events, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Okay, so maybe before you head out for the fireworks, you're thinking about planning a picnic. Well, no picnic would be complete without the hot dogs. Today, though, we're going to dress them up a little bit. A little bit later on Delmarva Life, we are in the kitchen with a few toppings that could really put a tasteful twist on this cookout classic. Plus, who says a cool car has to break the bank? Well, get the lowdown on some of the hottest cars on the market, and they all cost less than $18,000. But first, could a healthier life mean less plastic? But if you kind of go back to thinking, like, what did my grandparents do? What these women learned while making a film and how they're using the lesson to keep families safe. The Marble Life will be right back. <laughs> 